Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Ruger P345. So, when you get the gun, it's going to be, it's going to look something like this, except there's going to, except there's going to be a few, like, paper covers and stuff, but, anyway, I, I just hate the way they pack airsoft guns like this sometimes, um, anyway, what you're going to get is um you're going to get a pack of BBs, but I already used it so I don't have it right now. Um uh Combat Zone Airsoft advertisement. Um uh registration card. Um a warranty card and um, a basic um, manual and then finally you're gonna get hang on let me put the camera down for a second and finally you're gonna get the gun itself now this is a um, CO2 non blow black non blowback airsoft gun. Um I'm gonna start from here to here and then down to here. So they give you your basic orange chip tips, not too crappy or anything. Then they it's a you get a plastic slide. Um you don't slide it back since it's non blowback. And then and then you get a uh, rail, which is nice, so you can put lasers and flashlights and stuff. And then the fire selector, um, you push down and pull to the left to put to put on fire, and then you push down and pull to the right to put on safety. Next, um, you get a plastic trigger guard and um. I can't tell if that's metal or plastic, actually. It kind of feels like metal, so... I'm just going to say it's metal. Um, metal trigger. And then... You get nice fiber optic um, iron sights, which I like a lot. It's green in the back and then orange in the front. Then you get um, a plastic um, grip with a Ruger logo and then the mag release is right here and then you push, just push that down magazine comes right out um, you get a metal um, stick mag or clip or whatever you want to call it and to fill the BBs you have to pull this pull this down um, Fill the, fill the BBs, and then push this button up, and it'll pull all the BBs up so it can feed. And then, to fill the CO2, um, hang on, let me put the camera down. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, so to fill the CO2, you have to pull the grip back. Put the CO2 cartridge in, and then, oh, you have to get, put the sluice before you put the CO2 cartridge in. And then you tighten it, and then you'll hear um, the gas going off. You tighten it some more until the um, until it stops making the noise. And then you push the grip, push the grip back in, and then you're all set to go. Oh, by the way, you you have to take out the mag if you want to fill the CO2. Hang on. Uh, okay. So, overall, this is a really good gun. I'd recommend you to buy it. I got this at Meyer for $40, which in my opinion is a great deal. And, um, uh, and... I'll probably do, be doing a shooting test for this gun soon. So, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.